All right, guys. So today went to a flea market in Shipshawana with Mr. Barry and his wife, and um, I got some things here just so this stuff doesn't get mixed up. I'm gonna show this stuff first. This is a trailer light tester. These little things light up uh, when your stuff is good. Your, you know, lights and stuff. Tail light, left tail light, right tail light. And then this is trailer lighting wire. This is cool because it's got male and female plugs so you could wire both a truck and a trailer for lights. Alright, now let's get into what you guys are probably more interested in, the die cast stuff. I'm going to show these first just because they're at the top of the bag here. Oh, no, that's not what these are. But I'll show these too. These are key fobs. These didn't come from the flea market. These came from a little store there in the Shipshawana. This is the Oldsmobile key fob. It's a newer one. It's got the uh, newer Oldsmobile emblem. That's the regular older Oldsmobile emblem. Also got one of those same ones. It says Pontiac. Got a Buick one. And I got another Pontiac one that the enamel had came out of. I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to paint this one a black background. I'm going to pull this enamel out and I'm going to do a, the red emblem in there. So... Those were, I think, a quarter a piece, so pretty happy with those. All right, now we're going to get into the die cast stuff here. Got lots of goodies here. This first round of stuff here I got from an Amish guy. I think he was selling, I let me, no, that's not true. Uh, oh, they're all mixed up here. It doesn't matter who they came from. One of them was Amish guy. One of them was uh, not an Amish guy, or at least not apparently. This is pretty cool. This is a monster truck, square body Chevy with a 3 plus 3 uh, crew cab dually. Kind of a funky looking front end on it. The monster truck it's got a kind of a wild paint job lavender paint job with black and gray flames and red stripes and there's the back of it kind of a crazy thing here CP 5005 made in China so I don't really know who made it CP is probably the abbreviation for whatever the company is I don't think I'm going to keep it a monster truck. I just wanted the square body Chevy dually casting there. And I probably have some little bitty Xylomax wheels that I can turn this into a regular pickup truck. Which is what I was interested in doing with it. This thing is cool. I think these were 75 cents a piece. Except he gave me this thing. But, uh, this is really cool. This is a monster truck Ford uh, Aerostar van. A little dusty. I like the Aerostar van. I think it's kind of a neat looking vehicle. So, I saw a monster truck version of it. I decided I better buy it. He had two of these. I thought about buying two of them. I thought, well, I can... Keep one as the Bigfoot shuttle and make one a uh, 
paint one up different, but I just got the one. It's all plastic, but there's not a whole lot of Aerostar castings. Hot Wheels made one. Uh, whoever made this thing made one. This says Bigfoot made in China. That's all it says. So don't know who made that one. Oh, it rolls very well, though. This is uh, high test batteries display battery display obviously not 164 scale but thought it was pretty cool he just gave me that he didn't charge me for that which was nice this is cool this is a 79 Ford F-150 long bed with a camper topper what people call them a bed topper on there Hot Wheels. Other than maybe the clawed foot of a bird, the you know, talons. There we go. That's the right word, talons. I can't really figure out what this graphic on the side is supposed to be. It's very dusty. But I like this casting, so I got it. We have a dull refrigerator truck. And I'm, it looks like maybe a Hino truck. Don't know who made it. Doors don't open. But I thought it was kind of cool. And here we have a very tiny little 55 Chevy pickup truck. In green. It's a nice little model. It's just little bitty. Uh, these things normally, I recognize these wheels with the stars in them. These things normally come with the little semi-trucks that they sell at Dollar General. Or at least they did when I was a kid. So I'm going to take a wild guess that that's what this is from. It does roll, even as small as it is. Got an old Tootsie Toy dragster. I've got the red one, but I... Not seen the orange one, so I picked it up. I collect license plates, as most of you probably know. This is for a horse and carriage but uh, buggy. There's a lot of Amish up there, especially in Lagrange County. So this says non-motor vehicle. From 1987 I should have got a newer the newer ones have a picture of a horse and buggy on there so I should have got probably an old one and a new one but eh, there were several things I should have got that I didn't buy so all that does is give me a reason to go back this thing is really cool it's also really big and really dirty this is a Ford monster truck. I think they call this body style bullnose. So it's an 80 or newer. It says super turbo power. Mexicali super power. King X. Off roader racing team El Paso Baja monster. This 4x4 four four on the top, I did not pay $8 for it. Probably would not have bought it for $8. I don't care so much that it's missing the roll bar, but it's missing the mirrors. It's got little door handles on it. Um, it's got side pipes on it. Tailgate says Mojave. <laughs> a big uh, step bumper on it. It's got separate tail lights. Judging by how dirty it is, it probably doesn't do. Now, how would that work that it was a crazy wheel? That doesn't make sense. It took D cell batteries. How would the crazy wheel work? It's smaller, it's way below the truck. I don't know. I saw the truck was cool, so I got it.
Where do I put that? Stick it there. Here's where we went. Shipshawana Trading Place. And it is the Midwest's largest flea market. You'll have to pardon my runny nose. I feel fine. I just, for some reason, was stuffy today. Probably allergies. I don't know. This was cool. This is made by Britons. It's a die cast trailer. Obviously, bigger than one sixty-fourth uh, scale. But I thought it was cool. When I picked it up, when I bought it, I thought it was an Ertl. Because I just saw this little rectangle here and I didn't really read it. It's made by Britons. 1981 Salop MT50 trailer. And this little thing here could be used for a bank, but it's also used to hold the wheels in, which are separate. It's got metal hubcaps on it, rubber tires, it's got a matching spare tire. Looks like it probably had a tailgate that dropped in here, probably a jack as well. I just thought it was neat. It's a very nice, well-made trailer. And it doesn't fall down on the ground when it sits on its own. It might on this table. Yeah, it's, it doesn't sit right on the table. But. These cars here, I'll be honest, I thought the bag was kind of cool. It's got all these different logos on it. So those cars I showed you earlier did come from the Amish guy because the other cars came from guy that I got these from. This is a very oxidized, uh, evidently exposed to um, water or moisture at least. This is a uh, Hot Wheels Trans Am. It's an 80s body style Trans Am. Red interior. Had the Firebird on the hood. 1982. Missing the front wheel. Look how corroded that is inside of there. The water pulls all the zinc out of the die cast. And that's what happens to it. Got a Chrysler key fob. Truex Auto, Truex Auto Sales. Dodge Chrysler in Plymouth. Waukesha, Indiana. Made out of rubber. Don't know what this key is for. It says coal. Definitely not for a coal car. The keys weren't even that big when they made coals. Uh, and we have a paper key fob. We have part of a Lesney matchbox here. This is the Dodge Challenger 1975. The metal base, super fast style wheels. I don't know what color it looks on the camera. It is kind of a cranberry pink color. From what I can see on the camera, it looks like it probably looks red. These cars had a plastic top and a plastic windshield, so I could see this having the top tore off of it real easy. This is a um, Fox Body Mustang, 1992. It's a newer casting from Hot Wheels, or at least this release is. And I have two of the same casting here. The Matchbox Fire Engine, 1982. This has the super fast wheels. This has the later wheels on it. I actually bought this fire truck for the wheels because it was missing the ladder and it, it the wheels aren't all ate up on it. 
but I kind of like this fire truck more than this one. This one is just red and it's kind of oxidized. And so what I may do is put these wheels on this truck and put this ladder on this truck. And whichever one has better windows in it. But. So I may swap some parts on this, make a good one out of the white one. My favorite casting is in this bag here. My favorite one I got. It's not the it's not the casting so much that I care about. Although the um, Chevy van is probably one of my favorite castings. Le uh, Matchbox super fast Chevy van. This is the Sears Home Central. 1-800-4-MY-HOME. I thought it was really cool. It just said Sears. You know, I mean, that's what I thought was cool about it. It's all white. Probably promotional vehicle. You can probably get these at Sears back in the day. Um, when I bought this thing, we had just started looking around again from eating lunch and the guy said that they just put this out like five minutes ago and so I thought well that was good timing then I wouldn't have found that otherwise and the other thing we got which I thought this was a matchbox when I got it but looking at it now I don't think that's what it is this is a majorette Volvo 760 GLE I saw one of these today it was a GL it wasn't an E it was it was, it was whatever the uh, station wagon model was but it was this body style and um, you can't really tell here but it's got clear plastic headlights which look very nice this is Volvo on the side, bright green. The doors open. Still has the trailer hitch and the hitch guard. A lot of detail in that back there. Got the Volvo 760 GL. Got the tail lights and the license plate. I really like, I don't know why I like this car, but I do. And let me go get the last thing. So this is the last thing I got here. It's a paper cutter, old school paper cutter. And they use these in the schools, or they used to. Some of the older teachers at school still have these things. And I've always thought they were cool, and I've always wanted one. And um, so I saw one today, and I thought, I better get that. This one was made by Ideal School Supply Company in Chicago. And the, this grid pattern on here. Oh, that's such a familiar sound here. She, t she taped the cutter shut, so what you do here with that grid pattern is you try to match it up with the lines on the ruler here and when you find your good spot I don't know how sharp this is uh, apparently not sharp enough oh it's starting to cut it maybe I just gotta hold it most of you probably understand how this works supposed to cut it real straight and when it's sharp it cuts it very well. And I flipped it over and I was looking in the back. And it's got the original old sticker on the back here. Directions for assembling Ingento cutters. That must be what this says on the side here is Ingento.
Ideal School Supply Company, Chicago. If you're able to read that and you want to attempt it, go ahead and pause. I, to me it looked kind of grainy in that picture, in the video, and there's not really enough there to read it there. But I thought that was pretty cool. And I've wanted one for a long time since I was in elementary school. So, finally got one. Blade needs sharpened, but still pretty good. So, like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. Catch you in the next video.